All right, guys, here's the daily forecast for September 27, 2006. I'm going to go a little bit on uh, midterm on you guys because um, I'm just, I don't really like what happened yesterday because um, it felt like a fifth wave up. I mean, something's not right in this, in this market. Because, I mean, take a look at this chart here in the NASDAQ. New month chart. I think it's a six month chart. Take a look at this. Wave 1, wave 2, wave 3, wave 4, wave 5. This area right here is exactly 1.618 times wave 1. This area is exactly 0.382 of the wave 3. And this could be a fifth wave up. This could be five waves up, guys. Because when you get a pattern break and you look at, you look at 30 stocks, and if they're really choppy and they have really weak, they kind of like um, last, I don't know how to explain it. The, the move up didn't seem really all, all that dramatic. You know, when you get a third wave pattern break, you need something dramatic, like something kaboom. Like a, like a trampoline that just explodes off, off the um, pattern break. Um, but the thing is, though, it's like we're, we're almost near October. And um, October is October. It's like once that, that, that once it, that, it's just October on their, on their calendar, things start to happen. So, I mean, there are bottoms that happen in September, okay? But the thing is that we're not coming off a bottom in September. We're actually coming, the bottom, quote unquote, in, in the NASDAQ was in July. Um, the, the one thing, though, is that this, the NASDAQ rallied over 0.618 of the drop from uh, 23.75 to, uh, to 2017. It broke 0.618, I understand that. But when you look at this chart, in three month chart, it's five waves up. See? One, two, three, four, five. And it's starting to feel like it. Like it's starting to feel a little toppy here. See, if the NASDAQ doesn't explode off the off the pattern break this morning, I'm a little leery about the market. But, I mean, I understand that the Dow, okay, is broken through the a new 52-week high. I mean, I understand that. But, okay, well, the, the diamond came really close. But we're really close to a very large pattern break. And it doesn't seem like it's all, all that explosive. I mean, if I saw this, I, I mean... I mean, wouldn't everybody be buying at once? You know, like a big. There's got to be a really big move today, if, to the upside. If it really, if it isn't a big move at the upside, I'm just worried that we're running a five-wave top right now. That's what I'm worried about. I mean, the S&P is like it looks nice, but okay, there's one target I can draw on the S&P. This is a third-wave target. Uh, highest target is 1368, the third wave, but I mean, I'm looking at this NASDAQ chart, how, I can't really expect anything out of that, I mean, this is all, this is five waves, one, two, three, four, five, I mean, to expect something more of that, I mean, it's crazy, I mean, the best case scenario is a fifth wave extension, but they're so rare, you know, I'm just saying, guys, um, I'm gonna watch today's actions really closely, because if we don't get a really big burst off this pattern break on the, on the down S&P, I'm not too excited about what's happening right now. I'm looking at the, 30, the, the wave scan from yesterday. didn't make any sense. I was like, how come we're, we're ready to break out to a, huge, a new high with down S&P, and, there's, and there's, it's not, they're not, the stocks aren't excited about it? You know? I'm just saying. Um, if this, this is five waves in the NASDAQ, that's all i got to say. That's a wrap.